Welcome guys to another dollar store food review on all foods that are not quite a dollar but come from the dollar stores. Alright, I apologize for the, uh, the darkness. Usually I uh, film it with both a lamp to my right and also the natural light coming out from my window on my left. <clears throat> However, today it seems uh, unusually dreary and it looks like uh, there's a lot of cloud cover. So, there you have it. A uh, forecast that just doesn't interest you and serves you no purpose at all. So, let's get into this. Uh, chicken biryani from Exotic Foods. Don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Probably not. I probably accidentally said some some horrible slur in, uh, in some kind of foreign language that uh, I have to deal with death threats in the future. So there we go. Uh, marinated boneless chicken simmered in spices layered in a saffron flavored basmati rice. So much, so much to do for only $129. <coughs> you can see the picture. Uh, I think those are uh, tomatoes, carrots. That's uh, strubs, and then here's your amazing dish inside a little crock pot, whatever. Let's see, look at the, let's check and look, uh, look at the ingredients there. Expiration date, sometime next year, so that's cool. Ingredients, water, chicken, basmati rice, onions, soybean oil, yogurt, spices, garlic, salt, ginger, turmeric powder, mint leaves, and coriander. Very simple. This, this is uh, out of all the, uh, of all the offerings from exotic food this one has the highest total fat and saturated fat 27 percent but it's still pretty low for something for a microwave meal get seven ounces of food and here is the meal lovingly lovingly opened by wolverine but not quite all the way as he had to go and make another terrible brian singer x-men movie actually you know what i don't really have a problem with brian singer he just made a really kind of boring Superman movie. I think the Superman movie probably would have been better as a half an hour origin story. But ultimately that the Superman Returns or whatever movie was really just, I don't know, like a love letter to the, to the guy who originally made the movie, uh, Donner. So, movie commentary and a meal, that's me. So, here's chicken biryani. I don't think I've ever had this before. Looks okay, I guess. It's, it certainly smells like a... like an Indian food place. Let's mix it in a little bit. We've got these chunks of chicken, which, which unlike other chunks of chicken and other meals I find, it seems like these are actually chunks of chicken and not like extruded, mushed up chicken anuses. As the chicken actually has te a texture rather than rather than just bounce. So let's take a take a bite of this. Yeah, now I think I've explained in other videos I've been pleasantly surprised, but also disappointed with uh, how edible these dollar store meals are so far. And especially from exotic foods, I, I don't expect anything uh, anything less than than edible at this point. Um, I think the only mishap I had so far was that one meal that I had which didn't come from exotic foods, it was some kind of other Indian food that where the sauce was sour. I believe I commented on it, on the fact that it shouldn't be sour. And the next week, when I had ate something from the same brand, it wasn't sour, despite having the same sauce. So I believe the one that I bought literally went bad. But I didn't get sick, so that's okay, I guess. Here, taking a decent fork full. Um, <clears throat> oh, it's this, yeah. Alright, it's not bad. I had it before in uh, Indian place. Uh, it's not bad. I can't really say anything bad about it. It's, it's really, really starting to get on my nerves. You know, I, I think I'm just going to start looking for places that sell off meats and just buying that. That way we can get something interesting, maybe like a rat tail or something, but we're not going to get this here. Apparently these are quite edible. I give up. Yeah, it's pretty good, whatever. I just, just 